I'm Craig Dewar. I'm the Senior Examination Manager for Scottish Police Services in the Forensic Services area in Glasgow. I'm responsible for Senior Examination, which is Scenes of Crime Officers, Photography, Imaging, for the whole of Strathclyde Policing Region in the West of Scotland. Scene examination is uh, an integral part of uh, forensic services. Uh, it sits alongside the chemistry and biological services which uh, SPSA provide to the Scottish Police Forces. Scene examiners routinely capture photographs at crime scenes. Uh, it's part of their daily task. They do it uh, as a matter of course. They record uh, photographs from volume crime scenes right up to major incidents and serious crimes. So the capture of images at crime scenes is a scene of crime function in Glasgow. Developing these photographs sits within the imaging unit uh, and that's all done digitally uh, with IT and uh, using software. What we can do is show complex evidence that in the past would have been fairly difficult to convey the information to the jury. What we can do is translate that using visual methods onto, this, onto a computer screen so that it's just easier for the jury to understand complex evidence or situations or scenarios that have been played out in a particular case. We just convert the evidence that has to be all the time and just use it a different medium now. What inputs uh, that we take our sources from could be anything from ballistics evidence, telephone evidence, DNA, biology, CCTV, all the sorts of evidence that would have been evidence in the past and presented to the jury by the relevant experts that have detained the evidence. We can now present their evidence on their behalf. They still testify to it, but it speeds up the process because they don't have to go through lengthy books, manuals, different, explaining the different scenarios. We can now visualise it, which makes it a lot more quicker for them to evidence. An example of where the technology has worked in the past, there was a case that we worked on a number of years ago where there was a, a deceased had been found in a, a sewage tank and uh, there was an opening at the top of this tank and he had been found positioned over an inlet pipe within this sewage tank. And there was witnesses that was the accused in the case had testified that uh, they had been out with the deceased and they had been up to various bits and pieces, they had been taking drugs and so forth and they had maintained that he had just fallen down this sewage tank and he was in the position that he was when he was found by the police. But looking at it, the police believed and the pathologist in the case believed that it would, he, it would be impossible for him to end up in the position he is because in essence he was placed behind this inlet pipe within the sewage tank. So by using the 3D reconstruction we recreated the entire tank that he was in and had the inlet pipe exactly measurements down to him, it was about a centimetre or a millimetre. So because we made a 3D environment of the tank, we were able to move a camera around the tank, in the tank, move wherever we want. We were also able to make the walls become transparent so you could see within it. So by positioning the body in the exact position that it was found in, in conjunction with the pathologist, we were then able to move a camera above the pit and you could quite clearly see that if he'd fallen straight down, there was actually no body there because he's actually been placed over this, this inlet pipe. So they would have to physically go in, somebody would have to go into the tank with the body, position the body behind this inlet pipe, and then make their exit. So the 3D construction proved that the person couldn't have fallen there. It had been a deliberate act to move the body to a certain area of the tank. So it was highly successful in proving that. In the past, the only evidence they would have used for that would have just been photography and possibly a video of the camera panning down into the chamber doesn't give you a full reflection of what the actual scene was like. The 3D reconstruction did do that. The system came into being uh, three years ago, four years ago possibly, whilst working for Strathclyde Police at the time. Uh, I came across uh, an example of some footage that West Yorkshire Police had produced. It was a 3D reconstruction of a, a deposition site, I believe. and. Uh, when I looked at it, I realised that I'd been trained out with the police before I joined the police in the technology that was used. So then uh, a case came up in Strathclyde that we believed would be handy to use that technology and informed the management that I was trained in that technology. And so we produced a, a 3D construction of a deposition site 
and from there on it's just snowballed. Once that got accepted and people learnt about the technology and the availability of it, the job's just snowballed. Well, what we did, was, well, for the last three, four years, we've been doing these uh, jobs on an ad hoc basis. We might be doing two or three a year at the start, and then as the years have been going by, the jobs have become more and more frequent. I think it got to the stage where the government had to look at it to see that we needed a properly funded department that would be a standalone unit that would just do this work full time rather than on an ad hoc basis along with your other duties. So we received funding for an initial one year project to see if it would be a success and uh, we've been up and running for three weeks now. So far it's been very successful, the feedback we've had has been nothing but positive. That uh, it saves both time and money for the justice system. Um, we've had a 100% success rate with every case that we've been involved in so far and uh, generally speaking the evidence is going down a storm and it's been agreed by both prosecution and defence because all we're really doing is just presenting the evidence that has been presented in the past it's just in a different format it's a more visual medium because we believe that the public uh, are more used to seeing this side of forensic evidence because of programmes such like CSI and the like they're more forensically aware they're used to seeing evidence displayed in that format so now if we're converting the evidence, not converting, we're portraying the evidence that in the past might be more difficult to explain if we're presenting that in a court on a computer screen using the same styles and same technology used in these television programs they're more used to seeing the results that we're giving them so they've got a better understanding of it they don't lose interest in the evidence they're getting shown I would say that the system is actually in its infancy because as technology progresses we will see more uh, things that we can utilise to present other forms of evidence that perhaps at the moment we're not presenting or as technology advances we might come up with ideas to present the evidence even better than what we're doing at the moment. So no, it's, it's definitely in its infancy and it's only going to go forward as technology progresses. At the moment, as far as I'm aware, it's only the prosecution that are using this, uh, this digital medium. But in the future I can see possibly the defence moving into it. I know there are commercial companies out there that do this type of work as well at the moment, as far as I'm aware they've only done it for the prosecution. But as more cases go through the court and this evidence is displayed in this, in this medium more often, I would imagine it would be a matter of time before the defence start uh, looking into this area as well. I'm very mindful that the multimedia unit in its infancy here in Glasgow. It raises or opens up a whole range of opportunities for us in terms of applying technology uh, for the benefit of the justice system. It comes with some warnings uh, b because what we're doing in certain instances is speculating. Uh, we need to make sure that the product we produce is reliable and can withstand scrutiny. Scrutiny both by the prosecution and the defence so that uh, the evidence that we put before the court is agreed. Thank <laughs> you.